All right, for the topic of algebra, if you only had a few hours to study algebra, what would you cover? Well, I've gone through every single past exam question, so I'd like to show you that these are what I consider the most important topics. These are the very important topics. This is for the topic called algebra. Uh, when I was in school, I used to call it Alcatraz because I always thought it was really lame. I don't know if that helps you or not. Um, but actually, just so you know, algebra shows up. It's pretty evenly weighted between paper one and paper two. So we're going to quickly go through what I consider the most important topics. These are the ones you should look at. So arithmetic sequence. This is just looking at a list of numbers that uh, has a common difference. And those ones show up most often on paper one and two. So these you find all over the place. We have arithmetic series, which is just adding up all the terms in an arithmetic sequence. Those also show up very often on paper one and two. Although they're slightly more often on paper one, but you, you find them everywhere. Then you have geometric sequence, that's when you have a list of numbers, but um, their common uh, is not a difference, it's actually a ratio, you're multiplying or dividing by something. So those ones show up also most often on paper one and two, you find them all over. Uh, geometric series again is just adding up all the terms in a geometric sequence. Those also show up on paper one and two. You might wonder, okay, well what's going on here? That's because here when we have infinite geometric series, this is when you add up all the terms to infinity in a geometric series. It has to converge. Um, if you do that, you actually, these ones show up most often on paper one only. You don't find them very often on paper two. Then we have exponents and logarithms. These are very generic things. These are very generic rules about how we use exponents, how logarithms work. And those are also mainly on paper one. We also have natural logarithms and exponential functions. Remember, natural logarithms are just a log of base e, which is this exponential function, and that's this e to the x. Um, and those also show up very often on paper one. Then finally we have, whoops, I should really make this clear here. That didn't look very clear. There it is. And this one should really go here. I just want to make sure it lines up. Then we have binomial theorem and binomial theorem part two. This is just because uh, I thought there was enough to talk about. These show up on virtually every paper two. And this is big. This is when you have something like, I don't know, ax plus b, oh, let's say I'll put numbers, like 2x plus 3, let's say to the power of 8. And you've got to find like what's the term that has x cubed in it or something like that. How do you actually do these? These show up all the time. They're very heavily weighted on this, really important. And they're pretty much always on paper two. See, this is, I think, really helpful for you. So if you want to try to predict what's going to show up on an exam, uh, this is maybe a little bit dangerous, but here's what I've decided to do, is try to say what's most likely going to show up on a paper one and a paper two. And these are in order of probability. In other words, if I had to predict on a paper one for algebra, I would say you're probably going to get arithmetic sequence or series as the most likely thing. Second most likely, very close behind it, is geometric sequence and series. Or it could also be logarithms and exponents. And for paper two, you're virtually guaranteed to have a binomial expansion, and you'll probably have one of these ones if it hasn't already shown up in paper one. So for example, if you had arithmetic sequence in paper one, you'll probably have geometric in paper two, or, or vice versa. So this hopefully should give you an idea of what to uh, look at for your exam. Let's get started.